y'all. Um, it's been a while since I picked up um, the camera. And um, yeah, I guess the last video I uploaded was my fall um, closet swap. And I mentioned there that I was going to do some styling videos, but that didn't happen. Um, you know, life just got a little bit hectic and crazy. Um, and given sort of like the climate of like the politics here in the U.S., um, there was just so much going on that um, it was draining, uh, lots of anxiety or like just my anxiety and stress like level just is heightened and um, I just didn't feel like picking up the camera or just didn't feel creative at all and I feel like um, a lot of people were feeling that way just in the last month um, or two in the last two months and um, so I thought I'd pick up my camera and do a vlog style video this week and as we move towards the end of the year um, I'd still like to do a styling video um, and yeah, that's sort of what I'm thinking about and planning for the next coming weeks to just get you guys up to date. Um, I just got back from San Diego for a two week, um, I wouldn't really call it a vacation because I was working, but I was there to spend time with my in-laws. Um, we usually visit them in the, like during the holidays, um, but decided this year that we're not going to do that, that we're going to stay here for the holidays. And that, um, you know, we visited them for two weeks, spent a little bit of time with them. Um, the travel was pretty, um, I mean, I felt pretty comfortable and safe. I flew Delta and Delta was pretty good at, um, you know, informing their travelers like what to do. Um, since the airport wasn't busy, my husband and I, you know, decided to time it where we don't have to wait long at the airport um, until we boarded and then once we boarded um, the flight attendants gave us um, sanitizing wipes um, and you know to use before we like sit down I mean they did tell us that um, they sanitized the plane um, and I felt pretty good about that and pretty comfortable um, and then they give you sort of like this they give you this survey before or right when you check in to make sure that you know you're healthy so like they ask you if you have been feeling sick lately you know um basically um covid like precautions type of questions um and then you know san diego is like about a two and a half hour flight um they didn't um they gave us like this like ziploc bag with um purell a small water bottle and like individual snack like packed in there um they weren't doing any um in-flight service um so that was you know basically just to make sure that you know they're keeping in code um so overall i think the flight was good. I don't know any other airline. Um, I've just flown Delta and I feel pretty comfortable about that. Um, and then when we got to San Diego, we definitely just stayed within just like the house uh, for most of most of the most part. Um, during the weekends, we went to go get takeout as far as like food wise. Um, and then we walked the beach which was pretty safe. We had our mask on. Um, I did notice though that a lot of people down there are um, not really following the mask, you know, requirements. Um, like when we were down at the beach, I saw a lot of that. Um, I also saw a lot of people like hanging out the bars. I would say probably Seattle, um, where I live now, is a lot more strict when it comes to like wearing masks outside. Um, so now that we're back, though, we are definitely, um, you know, staying in. 
Uh, we don't have any grand plans for the holidays, uh, which was, which is fine. I'm fine with that, and I actually look forward to it. Um, and I think, um, what was I going to say? Uh, whew, just had a brain fart. Uh, lost my chain of thought. Um, yeah, we're just um, staying in for the holidays. Just me and my husband. Um, kind of locking down, especially now that um, the cases went up and our governor recently had um, put in more curfew or policies in place where um, we're kind of, where the lockdown is a little bit more strict again. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we just timed that perfectly in time and um, yeah, today's Monday. I am catching up with work. Um, I just answered a bunch of emails. I have a bunch, like I have a couple of like priority projects I need to get done this week. Um, so yeah, um, I had my coffee. Um, and then just getting back to the routine again or the homework life routine um two weeks down in san diego we were pretty kind of lax although you know i still did my exercise a couple times a week but we were eating like good mexican food and we have to have it or um because up here in seattle um you know we don't have that much good mexican food so we definitely treated ourselves down there um, but yeah, it was really nice. Um, the weather was nice and sunny, although it rained like for like a few days, I think four days it was raining, which was much needed for San Diego. Um, but yeah, I'm just like ready to be back to my routine here at home. Um, and then just hanging out. All right, I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's already, wait, woo, lighting. Um, so it's already um, around, I think, almost 8 p.m. Um, I just finished my last meeting of the day. Um, anywho, um, I've already had my dinner um, earlier before my meeting started and I wanted to show you guys, um, we bought um, some art um, from this lady in um, Balboa Park in San Diego. I'm gonna go ahead and just show ya. So here is the piece of art that we got. I thought it's like really, let's see if I could get some light. I thought it was very kind of, um, very us, like me and my husband. Um, I like the color, I like sort of the abstract design. It kind of really reminds me of like San Diego, if anything. Um, we got it for $55 and it's by this lady named um, Mary Ella. I'll find her card and I'll share that info down below if you guys are curious. Um, and a few things that I'm also loving is this candle. I got it from Etsy actually. Um, it's soy based and it smells so good. It's a pumpkin spice um, scent for, you know, the holidays. And yeah, um, I'll also share that info down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, um, we actually move this plant. It used to be right over there by our sliding door. But when we got back from um, San Diego, this thing was wilted. So I don't think it likes the cold. Actually, this plant, um, in a way, kind of... My husband and I were just talking about it that we actually enjoy or we like that it's over here. It kind of adds a little something on this area of, of the apartment. Um, this one is another plant. Um, I forgot the name of this, but this has been pruned from this 
gigantic plant that we have over there. This is the baby, basically, or sister of that plant. Uh, we're looking for um, a plant stand right now, or a plant stand in a pot uh, right now. But yeah, so um, what am I going to do? So yeah, I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. Um, and I don't have anything kind of fun thing planned for the evening. Uh, I have a, I'm finishing up my book. Uh, I think I mentioned it um, in uh, one of my, I think it was my general favorites or my favorites video. And um, I'm finishing up this second book from Deborah Harkness's trilogy um, of Discovery Witches because um, I'm trying to finish it up because season two is coming out very soon and they have a preview of season two and I am dying to watch it but I don't want to see the preview of season two because I don't want anything to like taint my imagination uh, while I'm reading this. I want to make sure that like I read this and I you know create my own imagination and then see the trailer and then hopefully watch the season two um, just so that there's some there's still some um, excitement and a little bit of um, what's the word I'm trying to formulate here for some reason I can't all of a sudden talk um, I just want to leave give, give myself room for imagination and excitement um, and then probably also watch uh, and probably watch um, a little bit of TV it's been a long day. Um, oh yeah, um, I actually um, I'm going to a acupuncture appointment tomorrow. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, they didn't call me to cancel it or anything, even with the um, new curfew for quarantine took effect on Monday here in Washington state. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm looking forward to that. Pretty much that's it. Um, I, I have a couple of deadlines tomorrow uh, for a couple of my projects. So just doing that. And yeah, that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Um, it's Tuesday and I just got up. I am heading to my acupuncture appointment and um, making my coffee right here. Um, after that, um, I'm just going to head back home um, because I do have some, I think I mentioned it last night, that I have a couple of deadlines today. Um, and so I'm just going to work on that and let's just see how the day goes. I don't have any major planned for um, for today so just keep on watching okay I'm back that was really quick um, that's because I forgot to show you guys um, that um, I think the last time I vlogged um, it's been a while probably a few months um, but I wanted to show you guys um, a few things that we've added to our morning routine. Um, my husband is so into this. He's been, um, he's like been ordering this consistently, but um, we got this thing from um, Laird Superfood. It's called um, Activate. It's a uh, lemon, ginger, cayenne, and lucuma. Um, powder that you just add water to it and so it looks like this um and it's supposed to help with your um metabolism um body detoxif de body detoxification and digestion and it's packed with antioxidants and compounds like vitamin c vitamin b3 ginger oil capsaicin and beta carotene Beta, beta, okay, beta carotene. Um, so yeah, every morning my husband 
swears by this thing um and then also we have a few more layered products um like i said my husband is so obsessed um but he's been using this creamer there's this is a turmeric uh um creamer so he uses this for his coffee and then he also got like a, a matcha version and then we also got this like yummy um pineapple mango coconut water um this is actually really really good um and then for me he got me this like vanilla creamer for my coffee which i'm gonna try today and recently he added chai to the mix as well as actually um this one is really yummy at night before you go to sleep. It's hot chocolate, but it has um, organic cacao and functional mushrooms. Like, so reishi chaga and maitake. Um, and it's just so yummy um, when you're craving for something sweet, but you don't really want to, you know, eat junky sweet stuff at night this is a good alternative to that um but yeah i want to just show you guys um let me see oh and i guess he added this one too this one is um another creamer but it has like mushrooms in it we swear by it it's a really good product i'm just gonna drink my activate and uh continue making my coffee hey guys i am back home and i'm on my i'm taking a break right now um i just had lunch or a quick lunch i made some um Jajamyeon instant noodles. It was really good. I swallowed that in five seconds. I was pretty hungry. Um, hey guys, I'm back home. I am taking a lunch break right now or just a, um, a break from work. I just had lunch. I made some um, Jajamyeon instant noodles um and it was good i swallowed it in five seconds because i was so hungry and now i'm just kind of chilling and you know stretching the legs i've been working all morning and then did my acupuncture and things like that so um i wanted to show you guys i actually i wonder if i should do like a um not really unboxing video because I already unboxed everything but I guess I'll just show you guys um, I recently got some things um, I'm gonna show you actually um, I know I'm kind of late in the game but I recently got me the Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance palette. I got this at Costco because I found out that that's where I could get the best deal. But um, look at these, they're so pretty. Um, the reason why I got this is because I was watching um, the video um, in Violet French's YouTube channel, but she had a guest there. Um, what was her name? Kavita. But um, she was a guest um, in Violet's channel. And she used this palette and it looks so gorgeous on her. She used the uh, burnt orange and then these two kind of um, like pinky reddish tone, which is the Venetian red and love letter. And it looks so pretty on her. Um, and I was trying to find dupes so I don't have to buy the palette because I really just wanted those three eyeshadow. But I realized, you know what, I might as well just get the freaking damn palette um, to have like the original. Um, because I had a hard time finding dupes. Um, there was, um, I went to, I forgot what website it was, but, oh, Temptalia or something like that. Um, she does a lot of like dupes basically for uh, any like makeup stuff like lipsticks, eyeshadows and all that stuff. And um, I was looking at the dupe for this and they have a bunch of like ColourPop eyeshadows. So I went to ColourPop, 
website and um, they're all sold out or they didn't have it they're not selling it anymore and um, and so it goes I actually ended up buying three eyeshadow from color pop that I was trying to um, see if it's gonna match the color but um, it actually doesn't but I still love it um, it is so I have this um, Z palette here that I've created um, for myself but these are the three new color pop eyeshadow that I got um, and surprisingly I have never tried color pops um, pressed eyeshadow before and they're very pigmented um, so this is just like one light swipe um, look how pigmented that is. This is just like really light-handedly doing it. And I'm just going to do a quick swatch. Um, I'm going to swatch this in my arm so you guys could see. And it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. It's so creamy and so pigmented. It's called Hop On. And then... This one is kind of like a pinky salmon thing color. It's called Charge It. It's matte. And then this one, I, I was like, you know what? I don't have any like champagne color. And I wanted one. This is called Ringer. Just won't focus. Yeah. Oh, oh well. All right, guys. Um, I finished one of my projects. Um, and I got a great feedback. So yay! Um, and I guess I just wanted to show you guys. Um, Brian, my husband, is making a sourdough bread. And he's left me in charge of folding this dough here. So every 30 minutes I have to fold it. Um, basically taking what's underneath, folding it in the front, and doing it on all four sides like a square. So I just did that and then uh, we get another 30 minutes um, to do. So while that is um, sitting here and marinating, um, I am just taking another break after like I finish that project. Whoop, lighting, lost you guys. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I've been feeling good about things. Oh, um... Let's see, I had gotten myself um, some really cute hairband and I wanted to show you guys. I mentioned um, this one I got it from a, a small business owner from Brooklyn, New York. It's um, this really cute, they call it the crown basically, but um, it's... Um, by a brand called Fly By Night and it is super super cute so I can get you guys here it looks like this and yeah it just kind of looks like a crown and you know like I normally don't do a lot of like hair accessories so I decided um, adding a little some something something in my outfit since I honestly don't really dress up because I'm at home um, so that's one. And then in San Diego, um, when I went to Target, um, I got another headband. And I thought this one was really cute. I love the color. I'll show you guys. Um, it's hard to do this in one hand. But it looks like this. Here you go. Um, I just love this combo combination of like this like royal blue with like purplish. And then these like... Um, I don't know, turquoise, like, emerald color. Is it an emerald color? But I love it. I'm thinking about picking up some jewelry from uh, Rachel Maid. Um, she does, like, really amazing rings and, and necklaces, like, super simple ones. Um, and am I, I was thinking, I'm, and she also does earrings. So I might get some hoops or like a tiny hoop. And I picked up a couple of clothing items, I guess, to add to my to my wardrobe, winter wardrobe. I usually 
I'm pretty happy where I'm at. I also don't have anything, don't have a lot of things I want to get rid of in my closet right now. Um, I'm pretty satisfied, but you know, sometimes you just want to add a little something, something. Um, so I got this really cute quote, like a jacket. I thought it's very much here. I give you guys from the. Um, I thought it's super cute. It's kind of cropped. Um, it's by Liz Claiborne. I got it from Thread Up. So um, I just really like the color of this. It looks very like 70-ish or 80s. I think more in 70s. Um, but I thought it would just be nice to, you know, cover, like to put over like a, a long sleeve uh, top, you know, for those Zoom um, meetings. Um, and then um, I have a lot of chunky sweater, but I don't have a lot of like um, long sleeve, um, like thinner um, long sleeve. I don't know if you call them sweater, but I guess, yeah, sweater. So I got this really cute, um, I forgot what they call this color, charcuterie color or something like that. Um, it's very in right now. I also got this from Thread Up. Um, it's by Ann Taylor, but it's, I think, made out of wool, I believe. Yep. It is made out of 77% merino wool, and it's very warm and cozy. Um, and I, I love this, like, um, ruffle detail on the sleeve, it, and then, you know, just ribbed. And I love it, but I already worn it, and um, I was stretching, and this thing ripped, basically. So I just need to sew this back up. And then the second item I got is... Um, this again long sleeve and this is kind of see-through ribbed and it's pretty thin material long sleeve i love again the details on like this rouging um here here and also on the neck area it's kind of like a um high neck i wouldn't really call it a turtleneck but this just has a high neck it's from a brand called let Right, folks, it's 10.40 p.m. And um, my husband just finished baking the bread. Look how pretty this is. It's like perfect. We're already cut. We're already trying it out. I got this end piece here and it's so yummy.